the narcissist's revenge warning signs that you are in danger. Have you ever felt like you were walking on eggshells around someone, fearful of setting them off? If so, you may have been dealing with a vengeful narcissist. When narcissists feel threatened or embarrassed, their urge for payback can turn malicious. In this video, I'll unpack the psychology behind narcissistic rage and the different phases narcissists go through when planning revenge. Understanding the obsessive thought patterns and entitlement driving narcissistic retaliation is crucial to protecting yourself. I'll share warning signs to watch for and tips to de-escalate confrontation safely. Let's dive in and shed light on this toxic cycle of attack and revenge that keeps the narcissist's victims trapped in fear. Breaking free starts with recognizing the dark road ahead. The Narcissistic Frustration Aggression Process For narcissists, any disagreement or challenge to their false sense of superiority elicits intense frustration. Their disordered thinking perceives healthy boundaries as purposeful attacks. This fuels an obsessive need for payback to re-establish dominance and protect their grandiose ego. They go through predictable phases during this process. 1. Frustration. Their entitled expectations are blocked. They feel criticized, undermined, or devalued. 2. Humiliation being defied provokes narcissistic injury. They feel weakened and lash out. 3. Obsession. They fixate on retaliatory fantasies, unable to let frustrations go. 4. Planning relentless rumination leads to elaborately plotting revenge behind the scenes. 5. Aggression enacting vengeful punishments provides relief for their inner chaos and rage. For narcissists, vengeance is a compulsive need, not an impulsive act of anger. Their tunnel vision for revenge consumes their thoughts, making them highly dangerous. Recognizing warning signs. Many targets of narcissists describe sensing an ominous shift before revenge tactics surface. Here are some subtle signs. A storm is brewing. They suddenly seem too calm and interested in your life after an argument. You catch them lying to allies about events leading up to the conflict. They chronically remind you of mistakes from your past to signal you're still at their mercy. They allude to undisclosed secrets as veiled threats to keep you fearful. They block communication and give you the cold shoulder unexpectedly. They have private conversations that abruptly stop when you walk in. Trust your intuition if you detect deceit brewing beneath their unsettling, cool, collected exterior. Knowledge precedes prevention. How targets get ensnared. Narcissists expertly ensnare targets into a dangerous push-pull cycle that destroys mental health and relationships. Idealization stage. Love bombing, excessive praise, and flattery to hook the target. Mirroring, mimicking the target's interests, dreams, and views to manufacture chemistry. Fast-tracking intimacy, showering with gifts, and declaring their soulmate status quickly. Devaluation stage. Intermittent reinforcement, randomly alternating cruel put-downs with affection to keep the target trapped. Manipulative threats making ominous warnings about exposing secrets, ruining reputation, or legal action. Smear campaigns systematically destroying the target's credibility and relationships behind their back. This cycle bonds the target to the narcissist, making escape seem impossible. The narcissist sadistically enjoys instilling this anxiety and despair in their victims. Protecting yourself from narcissistic rage. When dealing with a narcissist, here are some tips to defend yourself against their vengefulness. Set firm boundaries and consistently enforce them. Don't capitulate to demands or get pulled into circular debates. Broken record, simple phrases, like I'm not willing to discuss this further. Carry a voice recorder, camera, or other device to document any volatile encounters. Evidence safeguards against false allegations. Avoid circumstances where you are isolated with the narcissist, especially during known trigger conversations. Always have an escape route. Share your experiences with a counselor or law enforcement to establish a paper trail in case the narcissist's obsession escalates. Limit conversations to text or email to avoid misleading verbal agreements. Research local laws and abuse support organizations in advance if legal action becomes necessary. The narcissist's thirst for vengeance at any cost is a disease of the mind. With vigilance and proper boundaries, we can mitigate the damage done and reclaim control of our lives. Our future is still filled with promise.